this video tutorial I will cover uh, bridge design pattern implementation before you watch this video tutorial please log into my channel and watch uh, bridge design pattern introduction uh, bridge design pattern real time example and uh, bridge design pattern class diagram uh, video tutorials then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly okay now we will see the scenario where we can use the bridge design pattern Uh, in bridge design pattern there are two layers are there uh, the first layer is abstraction layer and the second layer is implementation layer and if I made any changes in implementation layer it won't affect the abstraction layer uh, like that if I made any changes in abstraction layer it won't affect the uh, implementation layer as per the bridge design pattern and uh, left side you can see the abstraction uh, suppose say I want to uh, send a message to the person uh, then what I can do is uh, I can uh, email the message and send it to the corresponding person or I can SMS the message and send it to the corresponding person okay so I have uh, two options to send the message uh, I can use uh, email to send the message to the person or I can use uh, SMS to send the message to the person right uh, so this abstraction uh, will use one of these uh, two implementation to send message to the person and uh, later I want to add any new implementation in the implementation layer I can add without affecting the abstraction layer okay so this is the best example of uh, bridge design pattern uh, this is a class diagram of the scenario which we have uh, just discussed uh, here you can see the message center which is interface and it has uh, abstract method uh, send message and it accept uh, uh, string parameter uh, message okay and uh, this interface is implemented by uh, two concrete classes uh, one is uh, email message sender another one is uh, sms uh, message sender so both of these uh, concrete classes provides implementation of uh, send message uh, method okay so what this email message sender will do is it will uh, send the message using email and what the send message in uh, sms message sender will do is it will uh, send the message using sms okay and uh, left side here you can see a uh, message uh, which is abstract uh, class and uh, it has uh, send message method which is uh, abstract method and uh, this abstract uh, class message is uh, extended by two concrete classes one is uh, long message another one is uh, short message and uh, using uh, long message you can send uh, uh, long message uh, to the client and uh, using a uh, short message you can uh, send a uh, uh, short message to the uh, client okay and uh, here you can see the uh, message sender so this is a protected variable uh, so that it will be available in uh, uh, long message and uh, short message uh, so the client will uh, choose uh, one of the message sender uh, to send the message to the uh, recipient okay so it can choose uh, email message sender or sms message sender so based on their uh, requirement and uh, client class uh, it has main method it is used to explain this uh, bridge design pattern okay and uh, this message sender uh, interface uh, email message sender sms message sender concrete classes uh, this three falls under the implementation category and uh, this message long message and short message uh, this three falls under the abstraction uh, layer category okay now you'll open eclipse and i will show you the code uh, i have opened eclipse uh, now we'll see the code uh, here you can see the abstract class uh, message and it has a protected variable uh, message sender and it has abstract method uh, send message uh, so the subclasses uh, this protected variable will be available and uh, subclasses has to provide implementation of uh, send message method okay and uh, there are two concrete classes uh, long message and uh, short message uh, both of these concrete classes extends uh, message abstract class and provide implementation of uh, send message method okay so here uh, you can see long message uh, has uh, overridden uh, send message method and uh, it uses a message sender to send the message to the recipient and a short message uh, which also extend a message abstract class and uh, 
it does provide implementation of uh, send message so what this uh, method does is uh, it will check the message length is uh, less than or equal to 5 if the message is uh, less than or equal to 5 then it will use uh, message sender to send the message to the recipient uh, if it is uh, not less than or equal to 5 and it will just say sorry cannot send the message uh, next one is uh, message sender interface it has abstract method uh, send message uh, which accept uh, message as a string value okay and uh, this interface is implemented by uh, two concrete classes the first one is uh, email message sender and the second one is sms uh, message sender uh, both of these concrete classes uh, provide implementation of uh, send message method so what send message method in uh, email message sender will do is it will uh, send the message using the email to the particular uh, recipient and uh, sms uh, message sender it will use uh, sms to uh, send the message to the recipient okay basically it will use the phone okay um, so next one is client class and it has main method uh, so first what i am doing is uh, i am asking do you want to send a long message or a short message uh, then i am uh, asking the uh, client to enter the message he wants to send to the recipient so both of the things i am capturing uh, then if uh, user uh, choose long message uh, then i am using uh, uh, long message uh, then uh, using uh, email message sender i am sending message to the uh, recipient using uh, email okay so you can see here so suppose uh, if a user select a, a short message uh, then i am using sms message sender to send message to the uh, recipient I will run this code and I will show you the output. So I am choosing a long message and it is asking please enter the message you want to send. I am typing hi, how are you? So you can see here. Uh, the message has been uh, sent using the email okay so i will run it again so this time i will choose uh, short message and i will give hi so you can see uh, the message has been sent using sms so this one is the best example of uh, bridge design pattern Uh, and I hope uh, you understand the bridge design pattern implementation very clearly and I have put together all this uh, sample code related to bridge design pattern in my blog called uh, RamJTE. You can just visit this uh, blog and uh, get the sample code and uh, this is about uh, bridge design pattern implementation. Thanks for watching. Bye.